Hi, beautiful. Today, we're watching our favorite thing ever, which is people coloring their hair from black hair or very, 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 very dark hair to a lighter color slash blonde. I overcomplicated that. They're just bleaching the shit out of their hair. Up first, we have a video by It's Kamari. We are dyeing my hair. I can't really describe the color I want. It's like, I want an ash blonde, but I want it to have a pinkish undertone. <gasps> ash blonde? I am so scared. And do you know why? I mean, at this point, all of you should know why, you know, unless you're new to the channel. Hi, welcome. One, because she has curly hair. Curly hair is extremely dry and bleach dries out your hair. So it just creates a whole issue. Two, her hair is very dark. It's gonna take a lot of lightener to get that light. On a positive note, it looks like she has virgin hair, so it should lift very clean and nicely. The key word there is should. You never know with hair. That's the fun part. And also the part that makes me have anxiety attacks. <laughs> they said don't want to do it on freshly washed hair because your like pores and stuff are like really open or that can cause your scalp to burn that is exactly right and that's not because the hair fibers can't be clean that's fine it's the scalp when you wash it you are putting tiny abrasions on your scalp with your nails and you're stripping all the natural oils off your head so you don't want to then put a bleach over top of that because it burns it sizzles it hurts so so bad and I don't recommend it I am just combing out my head so that it can be really detangle because I don't really want any patchy spots. With curly hair texture like hers, what I like to personally do is blow dry the hair first to pull out some of that texture and some of that wave pattern. That way you can get really clean, nice sections and see every single piece of hair you're putting bleach on as you do it. So, I mean, at least she's doing something. She's brushing it out and that's much better than just applying it onto the curls. And she's doing four quadrants. So far, so good. That is why it's a basic skill in the world of doing hair because it's used for everything. So good job. What I'm using is Ion Bright White with the Ion Developer. I'm gonna get to like a creamy, thick consistency. She's using 30 volume and cream developer. Cream developer tends to be stronger than powder developer, tends to lighten even more levels than powder. So she's gonna get a lot of lifting power and she's using 30 volume. So I think that's a great plan because she needs a lot of power and a lot of strength to get this light, especially without using foil, which she probably won't use because nobody at home uses foil. It's very difficult to do on yourself, so I don't blame you. Okay, y'all, uh, so this is how it's looking right now. I'm gonna say I started putting the bleach on at 10.30. It's 11 o'clock now, so I gotta hurry up and do my roots. <laughs> I don't know. She didn't actually show us how she applied it, but the good part is that she applied to the mids and ends before doing the roots. We're all aware of this. I'm gonna keep repeating it until the day I die. It's making a difference. <laughs> all of a sudden, you all know to not bleach your roots first on a virgin application, so. That is a win in my books. And it looks like she applied a good amount of lightener to her hair strands. So far, so good. However, however, guys, it's not all good. She has her hair kind of clumped up in these twists, which makes it very nice and even, but in terms of lightening is not going to make it nice and even. Because when you twist things or you put things in a bun, you're gonna get some parts of the hair that are being heated up more than others because of the overlay of hair on top of hair. The hair in the center is gonna get hotter than the hair on the the outside so that's not great and she's not using foils for her hair as dark as hers and as textured as hers you're gonna need some foils to make that really light and bright and she wants to be an ash blonde so we want no yellow I just don't think it's gonna happen I, feel like I, got, every single I gotta get my BBs too I got to get every single strand Ugh, it's going downhill oh so fast we're like a roller coaster Wee. This is the part we all don't see eye to eye on. We gotta wait until the hair is a nice bright blonde before we start applying to the roots. You're all out there, you know, doing the, the first step right, not applying it to your roots first, but then we're almost immediately going on to the roots after we're finished putting on the ends, which can't happen like that. If you're putting 30 volume on your roots, it's gonna lighten like that. And um, the back seems to be blonde, but the front is still dark as hell. So we're gonna get uneven lifting if we start applying the roots on the front of the head right now. <gasps> Shucks. All right, y'all. So this is how my hair looking. It's looking real patchy. You know, it is what it is. You know how the girls, they be cute when their hair is all bleached. Like, while they're bleaching their hair, I'm not one of them. I look a hot mess. Oh no. Patcherella, what is going on? How did it become that patchy? What the hell happened? How did it get that bad? All right, y'all, so this is the first go-round. Oh, shit. 
Oh, girl, that's a tough one. And this is what happens when you apply the roots too quickly. Oh my God, her ends are so like copper and her roots are so yellow. Everything was under process. A little patchy, but it's only patchy on the ends. Like the roots and all that is the same color. <laughs> What? It's not the same color. I need to get an Oscar for lying. The same color where? And I'm about to do the second process. I did a deep treatment yesterday. My hair feels a little brittle, but it don't feel like too bad. It just feels like it lacks moisture because I mean, I'm about to bleach it. I mean, I already bleached it and I'm about to bleach it. So we're going to dye it one more time. I'm not going to process it for very long because I really want it all to be like about this color. You know what I'm saying? About this color. You don't want it to be that color. You want it to be a lot lighter than that. Even that color is not the right color. <laughs> that is yellow. It just looks a little bit blonde because it's next to copper. So, hmm. okay, we're doing round two with bleach and we're only applying it to the copper sections, which I think she needs it all over, but yeah, it should help. We should get a little bit something going on there that might look better. Fingers crossed. So I just finished the second process and this is what it looks like now. All right, uh, so this is just me playing with my hair in the mirror, but in part two, I got my hair like an ombre red. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on, is there a part two? Her roots are so white. If she lightens her hair one more time, it's going to break off. I'm so concerned for her. There's a part two, okay. The colors I have, the Kind of Candy Adore, the Fruit Punch 191, Cajun Spice 56, Raspberry Twist, and <laughs> Wild Cherry 69. Luckily, she's going pink. If it's not bright enough, it's more gonna be red than pink, I believe, and then her roots are gonna be really bright pink, so. I mean, if that's the look you're going for, I say f it and do it, and if it's not, well, it's too late. Ba -dum -ba -ba -ba. Pink, 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 pink. This is what it's looking like. Now I'm at the front. It's time to go ahead with the skunk stripe. So I'm about to put, like I said, the Cajun spice, wild cherry mix right there, raspberry twist right there, and then the wild cherry right here. Same thing on the other side, what I'm doing. All right, y'all, so I am done dyeing my hair. This is what they're looking like. I really like it. It looks so cute. Yeah, we're locked up. I love it. I definitely recommend if you've been thinking about it, then this is your sign to do. I would like to see the ombre be the opposite direction where there's a dark root and a lighter end But this is definitely a look and it's a vibe and it's something a lot better than the yellow thing that was just happening I was scared for a second for you. Uh, I would say good job. It wasn't exactly. I think we both know that up next We have the happy Kim Okay, as you can see she has a blonde side of her head and then she has very black level one black hair on the other side in the back of her head and she's gonna make it all blonde <laughs> good luck with that blonde or powdered bleach 30 volume i do have brown hair dye in my hair <sighs> 30 volume good. The brown hair dye in your hair, not good. I just don't at all. I don't at all know how you're going to do this. I'm just trying to get it light enough so that I can put a color over top. I wanna go for like an orangey red, but not super dark. Oh, she's going orange. Thank you God, thank you God. Cause this shit was not getting past the orange stage. That is for sure. Now, of course, we are only applying this at my mids and ends right now. After it processes for about 30 minutes, I will then apply Apply to the roots because we don't want hot roots. If you don't know what that means, <laughs> I think it said, if you don't know what that is, please watch Brad Mondo. Or did I just like make that up? I don't know. If you don't know what that means, <laughs> please confirm that's what she said. So you want to do little tiny layers and go from the bottom up. But we want to work quick because we all want it to process around the same amount of time. <sighs> That is music to my ears. She said, I'm gonna do little tiny sections and I'm gonna start from the back and the bottom of the back. Yes! Somebody is trying to get me all riled up right now. And we don't want to squish. Grab Mondo says don't squish. Grab Mondo didn't say don't squish. Oh, I love you. Finally, somebody listens to me. God, I've been waiting for this day my whole life. You try to just fold it over. And she's using foils. The only thing you're doing wrong, you are not going high enough. We just want to leave an inch at the root. Just an inch. That's all it takes. I'm glad she started using her hands because guys, you can use your hands to do this. It just gets too complicated with the brush and the foils and the, your own head. Using your hands to put the lightener on, you can feel it. You, you know if you got all the strands. It's a little bit easier that way. <laughs> 
All right, I'm scared. And that is because she has so many little blonde hairs going into that dark section that she is about to bleach with 30 volume and lightener. And you know what happens when we overlap on top of pre-lightened hair with a very strong bleach? You get... Sorry for me to, sorry for me to say. Breakage. <coughs> Breakage. I'm gonna wait 30 minutes, and then I'm going to bleach my roots. We are back. Things are lightening. Things are definitely lightening. Why did we pull the foils out? Yeah, you need to let that sit longer. That's not gonna cut it. You always start underneath, is what I've been told. No! <laughs> it's not time to apply the roots yet. <sighs> They need to be blonde, like really blonde, like pale yellow before we apply the roots, guys. At least she's getting in there and she's just taking her time, you know? I gotta give that one to her. We'll lay that like that, pray it stays, and start doing this next section. We don't want that foil on the root area either because then we're gonna heat up the roots even more than they already are. I didn't tell you to do that. I thought you watched my videos. So close to being done, so close. We're so close. I'm actually really nervous. Taking it out now. You're nervous. I'm nervous because I feel I feel responsible for some reason. Okay, it's not what we're expecting. It's gonna be splotchy. It's a literally piece of hair that just fell out of my head. I'm gonna go wash this out, and then we will potentially do the other side. Okay, we're gonna see how this is looking. Gosh. I still have my other hair in a pigtail. Lots of different colors. Oof. Yeah, those ends are gonna need another round. I always brush from the ends up. I'm definitely gonna have some breakage. There's also a few pieces in here that like I might have missed or something because you know, that do be some breakage. Oh yeah. I knew that would happen because my hair is compromised. <laughs> it's splotchy and a piece of hair fell out. No! Oh, I was really hoping that would be a little bit lighter than it is. It's really not that bad because, only because she's trying to go copper or red. Ooh, it's feeling not very nice. Not the ball of hair that fell out, please, no, don't show me that. All right, we're doing the same thing on the other side of the head. It's a lot of dark. I also chopped it, if you can't tell, because it was really f dead. I also did a little wolf cut, so I do have some smaller layers in here, and I did trim up my bangs. Oh, wow, you cut a lot off. It looks good. It doesn't look sorry. I did just do another round of bleach on the ends to this side, and also my roots under here, because I ran out of bleach last night. This is what we are working with. <laughs> My walls are so white, I didn't want to mess them up, so I put my palm down like that. Oh boy, oh boy, we got some issues going on here. We got a lot of spotting, a lot of splotchiness, a lot of white, a lot of copper, a lot of yellow. The roots are all cheetah print craziness. We f it up. Oh, and we're bleaching again. Okay, I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, your hair's gonna be fried. This is like round three of bleach. Anything beyond two, guys, call it quits. All right, we're applying the copper. Hopefully that fixes everything. I am just going to leave this on my head for 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> This is the final look. What do we think? I just kind of frilled out the ends to style it. It is pretty damaged as you can tell, but I also do just have naturally frizzy hair. I think it turned out pretty good. I'll show you the back. I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. It looks so good. Thank God for the copper because it covered all those mistakes. Obviously the color's not super even, you know, <laughs> but it is even enough. And it looks great on you. It looks great with your skin tone, with your eyes. It's very pretty. I love a copper color. That was no easy task. You got there. You did something. Not perfect, but good. Up next, we have a video by Kaylee Sleep. I have gathered you all here today to witness the attempt at trying to do some money pieces. Thought about doing a skunk moment. I've been watching Fred Mondo videos a lot. I got the itch to bleach my hair, which I don't think that's the point of the video because the videos I like to watch are his reactions to at-home hair or whatever and a decent amount of them are fails. I don't know what compelled me to do this. <laughs> 
Isn't it funny? All right, so we're doing big skunk stripes slash money pieces. Should be interesting. Her hair is very dark, but it looks virgin, so that's good. A win is a win. 30 volume developer, bleach powder, and I also got this toner, Wella Color Charm in T69. It's a pearl gray. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my hair light enough for this to do anything. So what Brad does in his money piece video, first I'm gonna part my hair in the middle. Oh my gosh, my hair is greasy. He takes... That's not even. Okay, I think this is gonna be good. It's done by my ear. Section that off. And then we do the same to the other side. I honestly can't tell how even this is. Why is this so hard already? <laughs> Why is it so hard already? Cause it's fun. Hard. It's not easy. It's really not. <laughs> That's why doing this yourself, you're you're really taking a risk. You gotta know that. I don't want to get it on my roots. I'm just gonna try to have it be a little bit blended. She is going up far enough though, which is really good. And her sectioning is there. It's decent. It's something. I'll take it. Okay. Oh. I forgot how messy bleach is. You know, sometimes I forget how, how scary this must be for somebody who like doesn't do a lot of stuff to their hair and has no hairdresser knowledge. Like it honestly must be really crazy. These things aren't easy to do. If you do your roots and your mids and ends at the same time, your roots are gonna process faster and they're gonna get lighter and it just doesn't look good. You guys are all so smart. You guys all know everything about hair now. Oh my God. That was a very large section. I'm on my last piece. Things are getting a little scary looking. There's foils everywhere. There's all kinds of grumpling going on. And um, I don't know, the sections aren't looking too clean. What's going on? It's been about 20 minutes and I'm gonna do a thing. Put a heating pad on my head to help it develop faster. So I'm gonna see if this helps it lift any. <laughs> no, you did it. You just put a heating pad on your head. Yo, I've seen some crazy sh but once in a while, you guys still shock me. What is that? Heating pad. I'm trying to think if that's a good idea or a horrible one. It sounds like a horrible idea. You don't necessarily want to heat up lightener with external tools. You want the lightener to heat itself. I f***ed up. I f***ed up. Seriously? Uh, ah! Why does it look like you took a brown crayon and just drew on the top of your head in that one spot? I will say though, the rest of her hair looks remarkably even and very beautiful. I did see that she took way too big of a section in just that spot, but the rest looks really nice. But that one spot, that's gonna cause a lot of issues. This is the thing with lightener, guys. You really need to make sure you get it right the first time. Once you get into the color correction world, it gets even more difficult. Also, why didn't we lighten the, the roots? What's going on there? Okay, we're on round two. It all happened very quickly. I'm not sure either how this ended up happening. I don't know why she's doing round two. It was definitely light enough. It doesn't seem like her roots have been applied either. I'm very confused and thrown off. I don't know about this one. So here's the situation. It's definitely feeling crispy. This chunk was still like brassier. So I put a little bit more bleach right there and it was uh yellow. Now we're on round three. This all happened very quickly and I am uncomfortable. It looks like she was still missing some pieces even <laughs> after the second round. Ah, uh, yeah. I hate it. Do, 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 time for toner. Of course it's E69. Why wouldn't it be a sexual reference? C69 is the sexiest color. This does not feel good. Ugh, it looks crispy, sizzled, melted even. I know it would have been so much easier and quicker if I would have just done it the right way the first time, but guess what? That didn't happen and that's not how life happens. It so. looks a lot better though. How are we still missing the roots? I think she bleached her hair three times now and we still have spots everywhere. How do we manage that? I think I made this way more complicated than it was supposed to be. Yes! <laughs> it should have been one and done. It really could have just been like mids and ends, roots, done, process, put the lighter on. It could have been done in an hour, two hours. I'll give you two. I think we're on round four or five with the lighter. I don't know, lost count. I fixed the little orange bits by bleaching them. I didn't tone them. And then today I decided, which has kind of been at the back of my mind the entire time, I'm gonna bleach my whole head. I'm done, I'm done. I thought this video was over. <laughs> Oh my God, things just escalated. I put a little bleach in my roots cause that was looking weird. And then I had to fix some spots in the back before I tone my hair. I'm gonna put some Olaplex in it and try to save whatever can be saved. It is so fried. How did we get this blonde so quick? I didn't even see anything happen. Okay, we're toning after like six rounds of bleach. So it's a bit yellow and I need to fix it. I got a different Wella toner. It's still the color charm toner. Before I got it in the pearl gray, but I feel like I need more 
purple to like cancel this stuff out. Opposite of yellow in the color wheel is violet. So let's put some violet tones in there to get rid of that yellow and cancel it out and make it more neutral. So this is the final hair situation in the sunlight. You can see there's still like yellow bits in the ends, which would be okay if there weren't like these really cool toned pieces. I have an appointment with my hair girl. Um, I want her to add like a little shadow root, just add some dimension, but I actually really love having blonde hair. I am decently happy with it. Holy sh**. That threw me for a loop. That was such a huge transformation. I agree with everything she said at the end. Like, it's a decent blonde. She needs probably a shadow root to make it look a little bit more put together and polished. She has a lot of different variations of blonde going on, and it kind of just looks like a little bit of an at-home color job. I'm glad this isn't the final product, and let's make it better next time. But that's where she leaves us off, so uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> that was a lot. That was really stressful. <sighs> Another day of crazy fun bleaching fails. You guys, I don't have anything more to say today. I've said my piece and um, put down the brush, put down your hands, walk away from the bleach. Sometimes it's okay to just not do it. As long as you have fun with it though. You know, that's all that really matters. And it looks like all you guys had a lot of fun with it. So that makes me happy because coloring your hair is like so fun. Just makes you feel like a whole new person. And if you've never colored your hair before, give it a try. Like why not? It's just hair. It grows back. If you want it to be perfectly done, go see a hairdresser. If you don't really care about messing it up or, you know, potentially your hair falling out, I say why not do it yourself at home? It's just hair. Let's all calm down. And if you guys are wondering what color I'm wearing, this is Super Blue by X Mondo Color. If you want to shop any of my hair color or my hair care products, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmondohair.com. That is all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.